Wow. That dawn chorus is so beautiful. Oh, amazing. The sound of the dawn chorus at this time of year is just so beautiful. All the birds sing, singing in unison as the, the day breaks. It's just so, so beautiful. And in many ways, this beautiful sound that are surrounding me this morning is really uplifting me. Because this week I've had a very real experience as a photographer. I've headed out a few times to try and do photography and film a video for today and things just haven't been working out. And mostly I've just not really been feeling it. I'm having one of those weeks where I have that enthusiasm to go out but then when I get onto location I'm just not feeling it. And when I'm struggling sometimes to find that motivation, that creative flair, one thing I try and do is go to a different location than normal and try and photograph conditions that I haven't photographed for a while. And this morning I was super excited because I noticed last night that mist was forecast for today. So I set my alarm super early. It's the first time I've been up for sunrise in about six to seven weeks. I've come down to a loch and a woodland area, which isn't something that I photograph all that often. And it's been quite a while. And I was thinking, and there'll be mist. So there's going to be an exciting new opportunity to photograph something that I haven't photographed for quite some time. However, I've arrived this morning and there is no mist. It's very grey, very dull. The sun should be rising right now, but there's just very little light. And the opportunities that I'd envisaged for this morning just aren't going to happen. But like I say, this beautiful dawn chorus is uplifting me in many ways and I'm so glad that I've got up regardless. Because as we always say, being out with your camera is it's all about the experience. It's not always about the end results of the photographs. And although it's dull, although it's grey, and although we have no mist, there's always opportunities. So I'm going to walk around this loch and just see what opportunities catch my eye. And try and find that enthusiasm to finish this video today. I will, because this is the real life of an outdoor or landscape photographer. Things don't always go to plan, and you sometimes have weeks and days where you're just not feeling it, and that's okay. It's part of the experience, it's part of the process, and it's part of being a human being. So let's continue this walk and see what opportunities unfold. <music> there it looked like we had the beginnings of some mist you know as after the sun has risen and the temperature begins to change ever so slightly there was this very subtle little bits of mist on the the surface of the water barely visible but it was definitely there but it seems to have as quickly as it was was coming it seems to have gone again and I was hoping if that mist was to have got a little bit more intense that I could have zoomed into certain things and created some really interesting photographs. There's a lovely swan over there that keeps coming and going out of this nice area where you've got the dark trees and the reflection of the dark trees in the water but it's now just gone in front of the reeds which it's not quite standing out as much now but I was hoping he might make for quite an interesting image but he also seems to be disappearing now. 
Do you know though, it's just so nice to be out early in the morning. There's nobody else here. It's a flat, calm morning. There's no, not even a breeze in the air. And it's nice to be out at a time of day that I haven't been out for quite some time. At a location that I come to regularly, but don't photograph all that often. And just, uh, just enjoy it. So yeah, potentially one of these images might work out. That swan's now disappeared behind an island of trees and that little mistiness that was appearing as well seems to, to have gone again too. But it's fine. Do you know, I actually just love the fact that I'm out here today. And actually one of those images I just took there of the, the swan, which you will have just have seen, I actually quite like it. By zooming in with this lens and eliminating the sky and just focusing in there on the, the darker reflections with the swan being so bright in, in the dark area and that overhanging tree, I think it, it works quite well. As you can imagine, it would have been much more striking in misty conditions, but I actually quite like that image and I'm so glad I took it. And in many ways, it shows you that even on dull, flat mornings like this morning, there's, there's always opportunities, always opportunities. Sometimes you've just got to change your lens, change your perspective, um, and just try. But I thought this morning would be quite a nice time to, to speak a little bit about what to do when you lose your photography mojo, or when you just don't have the motivation for photography, and you're struggling to get out, or, you're str or you are getting out, but you're struggling to find opportunities. And I got asked this question a few weeks ago on an interview, and it was really funny because initially my first answer was, some days you just don't feel it. Some days you have things going on in your life that are taking up the capacity for you to kind of think and concentrate. Some days you're just tired and your body just wants to rest and we kind of force ourselves to go out and do photography and we struggle because our whole being is not quite in it. So initially when I was answering that question, I was kind of saying, you know, sometimes we just don't have the motivation. Some days we just need to rest and that's just human nature. And in those days, it's good to recognise that, you know, things aren't working out. And if it's a short term thing, you know, it only lasts maybe a week, for instance, then we know it's just our body's way of saying, you know, right now you're not feeling creative for one reason or another. You need to rest and come back when you're feeling a bit more rejuvenated. But I felt really pressured during this interview to give an answer, to push through that and to head out regardless and to find ways of, of finding opportunities, even when you're not feeling it. And I agree in many senses that if this feeling of not feeling it and struggling to, to take images and find inspiration continues for more than a few days or a week, then it does become a problem because it, you can struggle to get back into it. But if it's a short term thing, it's, it's completely okay. But I felt this pressure to say something, like to come up with some sort of inspiring idea that anybody who's struggling with their photography suddenly has this sense that, okay, I'm not feeling it today, but I'm going to do it anyway. I'm going to push through it. I'm going to do it. And it is a difficult one because for me, it's about this balance of realising, like I said, that some days you're just not feeling it and that's okay. Recognise that. But a good tip, which I, I, I touched on at the start of this video, is if this feeling continues, is to come to a different location. If you're used to photographing woodland, try and go to the coast for a change, try and go to a loch or a lake, try and go to the mountains, whatever it may be. Shift your, your location, shift your perspective and try and go somewhere different that you, you maybe haven't been for a while and it can just reignite that excitement. The second thing is to try different times of day in different conditions. Like say, I'd not been out for sunrise for six or seven weeks. So this morning was about coming out for sunrise, coming to a location I don't normally do photography at and combining those. And secondly, look for conditions that you don't often get that might give you that excitement back. So this morning for me, it was about the mist that we were meant to have that hasn't materialised. But 
Just coming to a location that I don't normally photograph with the intention of doing photography and coming out at a time of day that I've not been out for a number of weeks. Although the conditions haven't unfolded as I'd hoped, I do feel more inspired to do photography because I've put myself in a position that I haven't experienced for a while. And while I'm still not feeling 100% in it this morning, I've managed to get that image that I just showed you. I did take a few other images on while I was walking through the woods, but I'm not, I'm not happy with them because I didn't take the time and the energy and the effort to actually really think about them. Whereas that image there with the swan, I quite like it. It's different for me, so I'm more than happy to share it, which is, is lovely. But that's just something to consider there. You know, if you're not feeling it one day or even one week, don't beat yourself up because it's normal. We're human. We can't be go, 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 go all the time. And we can't always be creative. Creativity is an energetic exchange and you need that energy to, to do it in a way that, that really speaks to you. And I think it's just nice to recognise that. And this week for me has just been a week where I've just really needed to stick a step back a little bit, rest a little bit and recharge my batteries, recharge my creativity. But this morning, coming out to this location that I don't normally photograph, at a time of day that I wouldn't normally be here, it's just given me something and giving me the motivation to complete this video and to take some images. So that's my tips. If you're struggling with motivation, enthusiasm and you've lost your photographic mojo what I've just said is what I would personally suggest doing recognize do you need to take a break is it a temporary thing and if it continues and continues switch things up new location new time of day try lenses or equipment that you've got that you don't use that often try techniques that you don't use that often learn some new techniques and just head out the, the best thing is just just to head out and, and see, see how you feel when you get there. You never know what might spark your creativity. And it just takes something so small and minute. Like for me this morning, that swan and that little bit of mist that we had forming. So subtle, but it was something. And it gave me a bit of excitement, along with the gorgeous sounds of the dawn chorus. So beautiful. So thank you for tuning in. Oh, hello. A swan has just landed. <laughs> wow. So thank you, as I was saying once again, for, uh, for tuning in this week. For those of you who really like videos that are filled. Let me film this swan. I think he wants to be on camera. Maybe I should stay a little bit longer and take some images of him. <laughs> but anyway, as I was saying, thank you for tuning in again this week. And for those of you who like videos with a lot more images in them, I'm sorry to only produce one or two this week. But I wanted to be real this week because I've had a mixture of things going through my head this week. And, you know, these feelings I've been dealing with of why am I struggling with my creativity this week and realising it's just because I just need a rest week. But also I've just had in the back of my head these thoughts after this interview that I did a few weeks ago just thinking about that question for some reason just stuck with me because I think like that pressure I felt to come up with a solution when I was asked this question it just seems like acknowledging that part of the human experience is having days and weeks when we just don't feel in it I just felt like it was really important to to share that because I've seen other photographers on YouTube and, and elsewhere speak about these days they head out and they just can't find inspiration or these weeks when they're struggling to, to film videos because they're just not feeling it and you know we all experience that every single one of us experiences that it doesn't matter how advanced you are in your photography you know we all have weeks where we just aren't feeling it and it's okay and I just I felt it was a really important message to share this week and I hope this video has given you a little bit of food for thought. The next time that you have a few days or a week where you're just struggling with your photography motivation, I hope it'll just give you some food for thought 
and help you identify whether it's just a few days slump or whether you need to maybe use some of these techniques I was suggesting, different location, different time of day, different techniques, whatever it may be to help you re-spark that passion and get you back out there. Yeah. It's nice to be real, be honest and share the ups and downs of the photographic experience. So I hope you've resonated with this video and as I was mentioning a podcast earlier, for those of you who don't know already, I've got my own podcast now called Photographic Connections and you can, the links to everything is in, in the description box below. So thank you so much everyone who's supported this podcast and the Photographic Connections venture so far. I'm so excited to see where this leads us. It's, it's a really exciting new project um, and yeah, amazing, amazing. Loving the world of podcasting, I have to say. But anyway, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you all again next Sunday.